Hey everybody, Tony D. Little Jones on the couch asleep because she is she's tough to work with these days. What can I tell you? Uh, she keeps walking in here wanting walkies, but she's not going to get walkies until the videos are done. Videos have to be done. This movie's called Tooth Fairy The Last Extraction. We're going to do a screenwriter's rant, so smash like and subscribe while you're sitting there. Um, some of you have written to me and said, how can I help? How can I help the channel? You're being demon You are demonetized, and I haven't been remonetized. It's been over a month, YouTube. Uh, you can help by sharing the link, uh, voting up, commenting helps uh, helps the algorithm. More engagement helps the algorithm. You could also uh, subscribe to us on BitChute and Rumble, which is where we'll probably end up, because God forbid you 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 have political views. God forbid you have an opinion. On something that is outside the norm and it won't stop at news you, you think it's gonna stop at politics no it won't won't stop at things like movies because these companies invest millions upon millions of dollars in these movies they don't want some rando tearing them down they also don't want independent movies brought up that's their competitors I don't think they have to worry about this movie though <laughs> this is called Tooth Fairy, the ex last extraction. And it looks like, well, it's a horror movie about the Tooth Fairy. And this guy had a bad experience with the Tooth Fairy, apparently ripped out his teeth. And maybe they did a movie before this. I don't know. And you can see it's very dark and sinister. And these people are on a camping trip and they summon the Tooth Fairy because they have a tooth. And they make a lot of tooth puns a final bite at the story this looks horrific and there's the tooth fairy she sees her uh, sees the tooth fairy while they're driving he finds an ancient well shouldn't say an ancient book an ancient sort of looking book i mean prop guy is this the best you could do is that the best you could do for an ancient looking book that to me does not look like an ancient book it looks like i'll tell you exactly what it looks like it looks like you went to the art supply store bought yourself one of those little sketchbooks uh you soaked it in water a little bit to get this sort of aged look to it maybe left it outside in the rain then uh, you had some artwork done by hand <laughs> by hand and i gotta say i'm not trying to slam the artist but this doesn't look ancient ancient art ancient art is super detailed right you know if this was done during the time of the monks, it would be amazingly detailed. They'd spend like, you know, weeks on a page. This doesn't, this looks like somebody wrote it in pen. So if this is supposed to be an ancient book, I, I, I don't see it. And there's the tooth fairy. Not a great, <laughs> not a great uh, uh, thing. Not a great costume. Looks very low budget. I think I could have made this costume about 15 minutes at the thrift store or the Halloween store, right? It's not super scary. You can see like the, the, the mask is hanging open here. It looks like a mask. It looks like a mask. It doesn't even look like, you know, a skeleton face. <laughs> but anyhow, the tooth fairy is coming to get you and she's going to rip out your teeth and it's very bloody. There's a few bloody scenes in here, which I'll try not to show you. There's the tooth fairy ripping out somebody's teeth. Oh no. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> you, you can do better than that. Tooth Fairy, the last extraction. <laughs> Just going to be evil tooth puns all the way. Uh, yeah, so first act is uh, apparently a guy in therapy talking about the, uh, um, the Tooth Fairy's last appearance where it ran amok and stole people's teeth, I guess. Uh you know, and then uh, the Tooth Fairy, for whatever reason, gets re-summoned and starts showing up again and people start seeing it and slowly it ticks up in the second act and uh, somebody summons it, I guess, and they start ripping out teeth and next thing you know, people are dying and people are going crazy and uh, finally the third act, they somehow put the lid back on the genie, I guess, or everybody dies. I mean, it's... To me, it's a dumb concept. It's just such a silly concept. Uh, I'm not scared at all. 
This doesn't scare me. The monster doesn't scare me. Maybe if you had had really good special effects, maybe you could have scared me with this. Maybe if you had had, I don't know, more engaging characters, I guess. They don't seem particularly engaging in the trailer. Um, I just think this was just not a good idea for a monster movie. For a scary movie. The Tooth Fairy is not supposed to be scary. So I think people are just going to laugh at this movie. Um, but maybe that's the point. You know, maybe it's a bad, scary movie. Maybe it's, maybe it's, I, I don't think it's fake. I found other versions of the trailer. It said 2021. So I guess it comes out sometime this year. So if you got a thing about teeth, yeah, you might be scared. Tooth Fairy, last extraction. Okay.